I think one of the greatest problems of living modern life is not the barrage of information that may indoctrinate us when we're watching social media or watching television or looking at movies or reading magazines or even listening to amateurish mentors. Uh, what really is the problem is one word, suggestibility. Suggestibility means that my own inner sense of identity has not yet been fully fledged or fully developed. My own inner sense of identity is still dependent upon external input in order to complete my view of myself. What am I? Am I a Renaissance person? Am I an archer? Am I a painter? Am I a scientist? Am I a lover? Am I a this? Am I a that? Which of all of these things that have been told were very desirable should I really adopt and become and live and be expressed by? Am I a kind of a cool nerd? Am I, you know, a very fashionable fashionista? Am I, what is it that defines me, that makes me different to the plethora of humanity? These questions are in people's minds because they haven't yet established their awareness in that deep inner immovable place the absolute, the absolute field inside, the field of being, that place to which we go when we practice Vedic meditation, the mind settles into the unboundedness. The Vedas answer this question very clearly. You are totality. You are the unified field itself. You are the field of full potentiality. Better start using that. Better allow yourself to experience that totality. Better allow yourself to experience that underlying field in your meditation state twice a day. Now, when we do that, as we keep practicing Vedic meditation twice a, day, twice a day, it has been demonstrated that we become less and less hypnotizable. Instead of being constantly the victims of the hypnosis of social conditioning, we are able to be the beneficiaries of the direct experience of our own inner home of all knowledge, home of all the laws of nature, that field that knows no boundaries. Bringing that big consciousness into action on a daily basis, one's actual role in the evolution of things could possibly change even daily, potentially. You know, what is it that you are able to be to the world on a daily basis? Well, if you are in fact the field of infinite potentiality, then on a daily basis you could be shaped by the need of the time to become whatever is relevant for you to be in order to make your personal contribution to the evolution of the world. And so we needn't worry about, as many people do, there's a barrage of information. You know, you turn on your computer and everything's asking you to do something. You know, you walk through uh, Times Square and there are billboards everywhere flashing messages at you about what to become, how you can be, where you can go, what you really want, you know you really want it, and so on and so forth. The real question is not, is that all too much? Because the world's constantly been, since even Neolithic times, been offering us a sense of identity if we're suggestible enough to take it. How do we transcend gullibility? How do we transcend suggestibility? How do we become unhypnotizable and therefore uncontrollable? My advice is if you don't wish to be controllable, allow yourself to establish being in your awareness and be the unified field itself. Let that be your inner identity. Let that express itself through every thought, every action, every undertaking every feeling, every perception, then you'll be living what we call dharma, D-H-A-R-M-A, -A, dharma, in the Sanskrit language means your personal role in the evolution of things will be refreshed and rediscovered by you minute by minute throughout the rest of your life and you will be a highly relevant person without anyone having to tell you how to be so.